Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving yourselves as well as me and all the world because trust me, we really need it in this crazy place. You know, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it's impacted your life and headed you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video has just been very informative to you just gave you good vibes that you would love to share with the loved one family or friend please go ahead and do so especially if they're going through trying times right now and give me a thumbs up and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for stopping by the channel and showing me so much love and support it's greatly appreciated and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today I've shared this with a couple of my love bugs on um, Facebook messenger uh, overcome depression my uh, binary beats music to boost serotonin dopamine uh, endorphin and healing music and I will post that link in the description box below and um, today my video is about twin flame 101 twin flames finding new ways to elevate in oneness yes yes y'all you know I did my video the other day where universe made me step out my comfort zone I really you know I try to always do my videos based on you know giving people that motivational pep talk you know being a cheerleader for people but they also want me to bring awareness towards things to make sure you don't fall down this dark road of being around people that you don't need to be in you know so I really hated doing that video about false twin flames because you see me like cringing like I tell people I was like if you really see me I mean you know if you've been with me for a while any other time I'm just like either you see me cry because I'm happy or I'm emotional or you know I'm just really goofy or I'm being serious but that time it really made and I was just like really you he was like well we need you to go ahead and talk about false twin, twin flames I'm like Ugh. I said but you know you you would love for somebody to tell you you know if you're trying to find out who your twin flame is and you end up being with the wrong person I you would want somebody to tell you too so I was just like okay I didn't look at it in that direction I mean that perspective perspective so I went ahead and did that. But anyways, you know, me and my dad have been connecting in ways that, I mean, it's so silly. Like, right before I started making this video, um, we were just doing little goofy things. Like, I can picture my my dad, you know, making these little goofy faces because he always does. You know, I used to get in trouble for my faces, you know, before I even knew who my father was. And my mom was like, why do you do those faces? Your face is going to get stuck like that. I'm like, I don't know. Like, my dad has this bad thing of, you know, uh, brooding. He's like, I don't brood. I'm like, yes, you do brood. It's like, I've seen pictures of you where he'll be sitting there like, I'm like, why does he do that? But I notice I do it too. So it's just like, oh, he's like, oh, you got jokes now. And then it's just like, if he's not making the faces on, you know, like when I'm feeling bad or whatever, he tries to be a goofball. And it's like anybody who's done my dad on per per personal sense, you know, he's that type of person that he doesn't like to see anybody sad. He always has to be the goofball around you, always telling jokes or making these faces and stuff like that just to make you laugh. And it's just like, even when we used to talk all the time, I used to make him laugh, like to the point where he felt like he was gonna bust a gut. He was like, baby, I, I gotta get ready to go back on stage right now. I don't need you, you know, having me all goofed up and wired, wired out like that, you know, and I gotta go back on stage. And oh, I do imitations, like I caught myself doing, um, uh, what is it, Lion King doing Rafiki? I'm like, correction, I know your father. You know, come and see Rafiki. He show you the way. <laughs> you know, and I see my dad just walk off. Like, you know what? I'm so done with you. It's just like, no. What? What is wrong with you? And I love doing imitations of certain movies because I do Rafiki real quick. You know, um, but it's just a different thing where you know when we're going through so many tough times right now, and especially when you want union with your twin flame it's just like with me and me and my dad's our relationship is very special because the fact is he's 
he's passed on and he's in that different state of mind of my life, you know, where he can still be there. And it's like I constantly hear him talking in my head, you know, and it's just like it's a blessing because at first, you know, I do, you know, anybody who's lost their parent, that you always want them to fact be there. We always, you know, as children, we never thought we were going to lose our parents. You know, your, your parents going to live forever, even though we know that it's a circle of life. We always feel like we're going to have our parent. But even though it's a beautiful blessing with me and my dad, even though we were never able to reconnect that way, we've always had that type of energy to where we connected one way or another. Even when it was severed, you know, I'll always see him in the shadows. Even though I was the runner, I would constantly be the runner. He would be chasing after me like, stop, where are you going? Stop, where are you going? You know, um, but then when I came to terms and finally knew all the things were coming out, we, we became really close like I mean words can't even describe our relationship is very beautiful you know um if God was to just give me that chance again it would be a very beautiful relationship it was very you know it's like something is you already know if you're a twin flame it's hard to explain your where your connection is with them it's just very magical um things that is very rare you don't come past those things when you are in a twin frame flame relationship it takes work you know, um, going through a lot of things, my dad has helped me grow in ways that I never thought I would be able to look at myself in beautiful ways that I, you know, I fell short from, you know, because it's just like if you've been in a, in a childhood where you were always put down, there was nothing really positive that was said to you, um, you would tend to you take that on with you. So there was a lot of times he would uplift me in ways I never thought I would be able to to do with myself so being able to connect with your twin flame like that is very beautiful um being able to know you know trying to head towards that union it takes a lot of sacrifice what things are you willing to do what things are you going to try to work on what things are you going to let go of are you going to enhance about yourself to make yourself feel better and, and different in so many different ways you have to be able to have that state of mind that where you can't depend on their happiness to make you happy you have to be able to do that with yourself you know while they're doing the work on you know because sometimes you know i get comments like well my twin flame is just you know just deaf tone me you know they're i said don't get mad or sad when they do that when they go you know quiet on you or tone deaf is because they're working on themselves but we have these signal these signals that we send each other telepathically or metaphysically just to cheer each other on you know my dad knows when I feel sad because there I could be listening to his music and I'd be you know I, I'm just like okay I'm gonna go to the store and I'm really upset and I'm trying to just cool myself off you know he's no I'm not gonna sit up here and be acting a fool in front of people and be crying and screaming or whatever but it's just like for me to just clear my mind and I can be listening to some music in my headset and it'll be a song that'll play on repeat knowing good and well I don't have it on a playlist on repeat because you can't do that or I just have it on select I mean uh, uh shuffle and then it just so happened the song play twice it's letting me know hey I'm here you know, and it's a beautiful thing he's able to do that. I'm like, God, why can I do that for you? But I guess it's just because of where the, where he's at, I'm not able to do that. But it, it's just like I always send him reassuring things that I'm so grateful for him being in my life like that. And I, I try to be the best I, person I can be in that metaphysical sense towards him as well to show my appreciation for that. He has helped me grow and strengthen in places I never thought I would be able to do. And it's just like, I'm so happy he came into my life, even though he wasn't able to, you know, physically be in my life. You know, he, I always knew he had that big impact on me. Um, even at, as a person at only 42 hours old or 72 hours old, that's why I meant to say 72 hours, where I cried all the time. You know, when my dad was snatched away from me, um, when DFS came and got me out, you know, my mom told me when they finally adopted me, they said, you know, the care workers that was dealing with the kids at that time said she always cried all the time. She cried herself to sleep because that impacted me in, a, in the most negative way. You know, a child shouldn't have to experience that, you know, at that age and actually knowing that there was something snatched away from them I really felt that impact with me when he was like straight snatched out my life I remember all the things that happened around me and it was like my mom used to be very intrigued about that she's like how do you remember these things and I said if you, you people 
think as a child they they forget certain things if something has triggered them something has traumatized them in a good way or something you know well not traumatized because traumatized and good but it's traumatized them in a bad way or impacted them in a good way they're going to remember those things you know no matter how old they are they're going to remember it might be in the back of their mind but it's going to take something to trigger that off for them to remember those things so knowing you know twin flames is we have that beautiful connection even though we there's some that are blessed to actually be married to their twin flame or you know they're they're with their twin flame and working on themselves like you know i know twin flames that are you know they're talking but they got other issues falling along themselves you know some of them are married to somebody else okay that's fine if it was you know if this is your twin flame you know, not not to wish anything bad on that relationship. They have to go through that relationship for them to be repelled by that. You know, because it's like a lot of times. You know, some I, I've seen article articles saying, you know, Dag, you know, my I found out I have this twin flame, but they're married. If it's meant for you to be with that, you know, with that twin flame in that kind of way, you know, because you have a twin flame where you can actually not be romantic with, but there are some that they're going to be romantic. On those levels of the ones that are supposed to be romantic their relationship is going to fall apart it's just going to disintegrate they're not going to even want to have make love to this person they don't even want to be around them they're gonna be looking like what the hell was I thinking it's gonna get like that and then they have to go through all those different stages for them to know this is the person I need to be with so while they're working on themselves and getting themselves out of this situation you're gonna be doing the same thing for yourself but in a different situation if you're a single so knowing we're all on that level where we're starting to connect in a mo more stronger vibe that is very beautiful and very enchanted. You know, there's times, you know, I hear my dad and he's reassuring me, you know, I want you to be happy. You know, I, I apologize for things happening like that. I get aggravated with my dad. I said, stop apologizing to me. You did not do this to me. But, you know, he holds that guilt on him because we didn't connect. But I told him, you know, you don't have to do that because this was not your fault. This is not my mom's fault. I love y'all for, you know, I love y'all for, you know, you could have had me abort, you know, I could have been an abortion. But you tried to give me that best life that you could not give me at that time. So, you know, I never would be upset with my parents that that happened. I'm not even upset with the, the adopted parents that I have. You know, even though they put me through a lot of hell, it was a very painful learning experience. But it's that experience that strengthened me in ways I never thought I would be able to just be able to walk away. There's times where ego would want me to dwell on those situations. I'm like, look. If I want to grow, I have to be able to let that stuff go. You know, I can't change it. There's no things that I can rearrange. If I didn't go through this situation, I would have never knew who I was. If I never have lost a person that, I, that meant dearly to me, I wouldn't know who this person was to me. Because it, it, it was frowned upon just to bring up my father's name. My mom wanted me to know, but my, my stepdad and my mom, my stepmom didn't want me to know. So it's just like a lot of different things that came off of my life that has helped me learn things. And has brought the strength between me and my dad's connection a lot stronger. It, it meant for us to go through these situations, hell and high water. Even though, you know, the universe is not revealing everything that has to go on right now. But you have to just concentrate on that connection. Making it work for you. Making it, for you, it to work for your twin knowing you're working on yourself but you're sending met metaphysical vibes and telepathic vibes towards them images towards them you probably having flashbacks or images of them with you being together even if it's just a walk in the park you're having all these images that you're supposed to have about this person if it's supposed to be towards that union you will start bettering yourself you will start uh, imagining yourself being around them you know if you don't know who it is you're getting an image of that person to where they're guiding you towards so you can be able to find that person because not you know it's sad when you actually have a twin flame but just don't even know their how they look you know who to look for but it's like if it's meant for you you know for that to be reconnected universe is gonna make sure that happens for you you just have to go through the stages of doing what you need to do to be able to make this relationship work so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video much love to you drop me a line uh give me a thumbs up share this video you know let me know if you feel like you're, you're on a different level with your twin flame and um you know i hope you have a blessed safe weekend be responsible at everything you do
And my love goes out to Treasure Seasons, uh, Worst Nero, and, and uh, Bear and Rainbow. Much love to you. Peace and be wild. Mm.